What's up, peeps? So, it is the day before Buck's very first combined training go! Woo! I'm really excited. So, um, I'm about to go get all my junk ready for the show, put everything in the trailer. Um, and I just saw that Heels Down and Bottoms Up posted a video just now on what to pack for a horse show. So I was like, oh, let's see what he has to say. If you don't know who he is, he's hilarious. He's like an equestrian comedian. Go check his channel out if you're of age. There's a lot of illicit language in it. Illicit? Explicit? Explicit. That's the right word. Explicit language in it, but he's hilarious. So anyway, he was talking about all the alcohol that equestrians tend to pack to take to horse shows. And I was literally about to get in the truck, go get gas, and get some beers for the coolers. But that just kind of made me laugh. Let's do this! Before anybody freaks out, I only had two beers in the span of six hours, and the last one was like four hours before I had to drive home. The first one might have been before 10 a.m., but hey, it was five o'clock somewhere. Please do not drink and drive horse trailers, or I might come and shoot you myself. Also, quit buying piss water beer, grow some taste buds, and support your local microbreweries. Good morning, guys! So, the cool thing about moving up in the level is you don't have to wake up as early to get to the horse show. So, this is the same horse show I did in October. In October, I did intro level A dressage on Buck, and that's all I did. This time, I'm doing intro level C and uh, cross rails in 18 inch, and we're gonna do some cross country schooling if he's up for it. Um, so I don't have to be there until 10.30. Love it. Just making my coffee. I still got like two more hours before I have to leave. Just gonna add a little brave juice to it. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing real quick. I've got my Shelby Dennis Make My Equitation Great Again hat. If you haven't got one already, you should definitely get one. Excuse my messy kitchen. Um, this is the new Ariat Cambria jersey. And then I've got my C4 belt, which, exciting news, I think I can make a little shorter because I've lost some weight. And then these breeches, oh, my butt doesn't look very good, but they're just ovation knee patch breeches. There's the show boy. He has no idea yet. Um, one thing I like to do is give them ranitidine. This is to help prevent them from getting ulcers when they're stressed. It's just Zantac for people. The dose for horses is 1500 milligrams, so I take 10 150 milligrams of ranitidine. So I just add it into an old bottle, and then I get some really hot water. Do, 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 do. So once the water is really hot, just add a smidgen to it. And that will melt them down and screw that on and then shake it and I just stick it in his feed and he eats it up. All right guys I just walked out and there is a random dog in the field and my horses are looking at him very nervously. Here puppy! Doggy what are you doing? Uh oh watch out come here doggy come here! Come here, Bubby! Come here! Hey! Whoa, that's a big dog. Ah, ah! Come here! Hi, guys! Settle down! Oi! Come here, dog! Come here, doggy! You come out! Ooh, you're a big dog! Come on! Come on! Shit! Comet! Come here! Oi, doggy! Come here! Come here! Come here, puppy! Shit. This is not what I want on the day of a show. Come here, puppy! Maybe he'll go away. So I had to chase that dog off because he started chasing the horses. So the horses are now in their stalls eating. They've had a lovely run around. Buck's a little snorty and freaked out. So yeah, this is great. Great start to the day. I've never seen that dog before in my life. I hope he doesn't come back. <sighs> People, please contain your dogs and at least put a freaking collar on him. I mean, he wasn't skinny, so he looked like he had a home. I just don't understand people sometimes. There's so many stray dogs in this county. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's get going. I'll see you guys there. Kind of more behind than I thought I'd be now. Thank you. 
Sorry guys, I completely suck at vlogging at shows. I forgot to bring the camera up to the arena and my instructor couldn't figure out how to work my phone to make a video. So this clip is actually from a month prior at a different venue, but it's the same exact test that we did. And I think that Buck actually did better in the test that I didn't get filmed. So sorry, I missed filming that. But this is intro level C. He got a 60% dressage score, which is different than the eventing penalty score, which would have been a 40. Um, in intro C, they do not require the horse to be rounded on the contact, which is something that we're working on. You can see here he's pretty fussy in the bridle and can only hold contact for all of like two seconds and isn't in true self-carriage. But since then, we've actually improved a good bit and he's starting to do some self-carriage. So I'll do some videos on that. Video is coming out about a month since we did the combined training show. It's just taken me forever to edit it and get it out because of school, um, the semester ending and all that. But the summer should be more free and I'll be back on track with making my weekly exercise of the week videos. So really all I'm asking of Buck and Dressage right now is just to stay calm, fairly relaxed, and in the arena. guys so we did super good I am literally walking buck and a halter and bareback around the cross-country course um, we were gonna cross-country school but he did so good with the dressage and the stadium jumping and not having a freak out that we decided to not do any cross-country schooling with them because we didn't want to rock the boat so I just wanted to walk him around the course and just see how he did by himself on a course away from the trailers and everything and he is doing phenomenal I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see his little ears yeah you did so good so we're just having a little walk around I just kind of wanted to see what this facility had jump wise so dressage arena is over there they have a nice indoor stadium jumping is way over there we'll walk up to it um, but I just kind of wanted to see what they had for their cross-country course so that another day we can trail her out and just do cross-country and not overwhelm his little baby four-year-old brain. I know yeah, we're looking at dressage, but just having a nice leisurely bareback stroll out here just to see how calm he would be probably is not my smartest idea, but he actually does really well without tack, all the squeaking leather and stuff kind of freaks him out and he actually does really well by himself he has not hollered out at all but see there's the trailers and there's dressage and then show jumping's going on over there um so i just kind of wanted to see how he would do out and about on his own and he's doing phenomenal and he's nice and calm so excited to take him cross-country schooling one day and see how he does every time we come home comet greets us at the gate Poor old man gets so lonely.